These are AirPods, and these are the AirPods Pro. And today we're gonna to compare the two and see if the Pros are worth it. As always, you can find a more detailed written review on techdeckandmoretech.com, or you can check the link in the description below. So let's get started with a quick unboxing and see what we're dealing with in the box, just real quick. In here, you're gonna find your uh, manuals, your stickers, whatever. We've got the charging and the AirPods right on top. We'll get to those in a second. Under here, you got a little tab. Move that away. And right here, we've got our extra silicon tips. I think it comes with medium on there and then small and large are off to the side. And then our charging cable, a lightning to USB-C cable, just like you get with the new iPhones. So as we can see, it's a little bit wider than it is uh, with the regular AirPods. And here you've got the new AirPods Pro, a lot smaller, shorter stem. We'll get to that in a second. And yeah, that's all that is in here. So as you can see, the AirPods Pro case is really similar to the AirPods case. It's just a little bit more stretched out. So it's not that much bigger, maybe like a half inch or so. So it'll still fit in your pockets, no problem. The AirPods Pro share the same general design language as the regular AirPods, but as we can see, the stem is significantly shorter, and obviously there's a silicon tip at the end of it as well. I'd like to point out just how quick and easy it is to change the tips on these headphones. You literally just click them out and then click them back in, and it's a lot less uh, finicky and fidgety than it is with like regular silicon tipped earbuds. Now the big start with these, of course, is active noise cancelling. Between the seal that the silicon tips provide within your ear and active noise canceling, I'm really happy with the performance that these headphones provide. Obviously, they're not gonna be in the same level as over ear, you know, Bose Quiet Comfort or something, but that's not really the same sort of category either. If you've ever used AirPods in a busy city, you know that you have to keep the volume pretty high up if you actually wanna hear anything coming out of them, especially if they don't fit super well in your ears like they don't for me. The AirPods Pro completely changed that. They bring the volume of your surroundings down to about 25%. So you can still hear what's going on around you, but rather faintly. If you commute using public transportation like a bus or a train, you're gonna love these. Apple provides a software fitment test to see which of the silicon tips is the best for your ear. You go to the AirPod settings, you can do this little demo test, and it'll tell you if it's creating a good seal or if you need to try a different size tip to create a better seal. Another software setting that Apple provides is transparency mode. So in the settings, you've got your noise cancellation on, you've got it off, and you've got transparency mode. Noise cancellation on and off are pretty straightforward, but what transparency mode does is it actually pumps in the ambient noise so you can hear your surroundings better. This is great if you wanna to talk to someone, but you don't wanna take your AirPods out necessarily. You switch to transparency mode, and it'll, it'll be like you don't actually have anything blocking your ears. Long-term comfort is something that the AirPods have been pretty universally praised for. Because they're lightweight, most people just don't even realize that they're even there. And the AirPod Pros are pretty similar. It's a bit more obvious that the AirPod Pros are in your ear because of A, the noise canceling and because they are kind of wedged in there, but they're still very, very comfortable even after hours of use. For me personally, they're also the first completely wireless headphones that Apple makes that actually fit in my ears. The regular AirPods don't fit at all, they basically fall out instantly. And the Powerbeats Pro, even though they have a pretty comfortable fit, start pinching the top of my ear after a couple hours of use. Definitely not something I could have in the office on all the time. The AirPods Pro, on the other hand, I've been using at the gym, I've been using all day at work for the past week or so, and I've had absolutely no issues with comfort, with uh, them falling out or getting itchy with sweat or anything like that. They're finally the ones that perfectly fit in my ears. And I imagine there's a lot of people out there as well that have big old ears like mine that are in a similar situation. As with the regular AirPods, you squeeze it once, play pause, squeeze it twice, skip a track, squeeze it three times, go back a track. And if you squeeze and hold it for a couple seconds, it'll toggle between noise canceling and transparency mode. I think we can all agree that AirPods sound okay at best, which then makes the AirPods Pro seem incredible by comparison. Now I'll admit I'm not an audiophile, so I can't give you any meaningful uh, detail on like the sound profile and the highs, the lows, the whatever. Uh, Quinn at Snazzy Labs does a very good job with that, so watch his video for that. But as a more average sort of, you know, music listener, I think anyone that's coming from the AirPods, the AirPods Pro, is gonna be really, really happy with the audio quality that they have. Between the active noise canceling and the tight seal that the silicon tips create in your ear, your music is gonna sound just a lot clearer. And if you listen to like podcasts or audiobooks, it's gonna be much easier to, to listen to those in a more noisy environment. 
Battery life is about the same as a regular AirPod. It's about four hours with active noise cancelling, about five hours without. Of course, you got the charging case, which will provide you 24 hours of extra battery life. The charging case also has wireless charging, so you don't actually have to ever plug anything in. I think unless you're going on a long flight where the AirPods are going to be your only source of audio, you're going to be fine. I think for commuting, every day around the office, gym, whatever, I don't think you're ever really going to completely run out of juice. And if you are running low on battery, you can just plug them in for five minutes into the charging case and get an extra hour of audio. So all of this brings us to the golden question. Should you buy them? Well, the AirPods Pro come with a pro price, and that is $250. That's a lot of money to spend on headphones. But there's not many headphones like them. If you want completely wireless earbuds that have active noise cancelling, your choices are basically the AirPods Pro or the Sony W1000 somethings. And those are about the same price. But the real question is, are they worth it over the regular AirPods? The regular AirPods start at $159, so $90 more to get the AirPods Pro is, I'm going to be honest, kind of a tough sell. But if you want the AirPods to have the wireless charging case, those are $199. And for $50 more, absolutely you should get the AirPods Pro. You're getting much better headphones and you're getting active noise cancellation. All in a nice little seamless white package. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like and subscribe button for plenty more videos to come. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will get to them as best I can. Until next time, see ya.